Well, for the sake of structure, I went ahead and cut this piece and glued it to the top of the fan. Those blades were a little bit wobbly, so I thought that would help. It does not hamper the flow any because the housing will actually cover all of this. It will the inlet the inlet opening will be about that big. So it doesn't affect the flow any, it just adds a little rigidity. It gives a little bit more weight, makes more flywheel out of it, so that'll help too. Now I'm getting ready to lay it out to uh, start mounting this thing all together. I happen to have here on my phone a spreadsheet that has the dimensions it has the gear, all the gear information on it, and it has the spacing from the axles, because that's another thing that that gear program does, is it gives you the spacing of the axles. I'm going to put this in here right now just for a spacer, because the crank, the crank gear will go about like that. Then, This one moves on here. And I don't know if that spacing is going to, that spacing might not work, not work. But that's okay because we can put it on the other side of it. So if we raise this one. And then raise this one to match it. Then we can put this one underneath here. As such, And then this final gear can go right about here. Which will be hooked to the fan, which is going to be on the outside of this, about right there. But of course it's going to be on the other side of it down underneath. I don't want the crank and the fan on the same side. But you get the gist of the idea. Now, according to the gear calculating program, the axles of this gear here are seven, about seven and one sixteenth of an inch, which is about right there. That's right exactly where they're at. So the next one is six and a half. So from here to here, it's six and a half. And then the next one is six and an eighth. So that would be from this center to that center. And that's what it all figures out to be. So, so that goes like that, that goes like that. Now it can all move this direction a little bit. I'm just getting a generalized feel, a little bit more to center it. Where to start?
hooks that axle. Approximately two and a half inches in. My golly, so is that one. So that's just about the right spacing right there. So let's just take this other side. So the whole thing without the fan blade mounted is only going to be about four inches wide. There'll be a little bit more space. I'm going to add a quarter inch spacer in between these two gears and these two gears so as to give myself a little room. So, let's position that right there. Good mark. Come in two and a half inches from the edge. Put a mark. And this one is a bearing. Just mark that somehow so we know there'd be a, there would be a bearing mounted in this board here and on the last one. On the other one, the bearings will be in the gears. So, if we come straight over, how far up are we here? Five inches. If we come over here five inches, as such, and then seven and the sixteenth this way. Looks pretty good. Now this is going to appear center is about right there. And that is about two and a half inches. So if we make a mark here two and a half, mark here, two and a half, connect the dots, and that one is six and a half, so six and a half, I'm giving myself about a 32nd of an inch free play there just to give them gears just a little bit more room. Okay, so this one is a shaft. This one is a shaft. And now, down 
about eight inches from the top. center and this one's a bearing And that should match up with that configuration. And if it doesn't, we'll just do it over. I'm going to drill some holes and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, I've done all my drilling. I'm not too sure about one of these holes. One of these big holes, what I didn't get a little bit off. We'll find out. Now I've made, I've made drilled these holes for the bearings. 21 centimeters. Because the bearings are 22. <clears throat> Let me get a hammer. That's what you call press fit. Well, I've cut some small spacers out of some quarter inch plywood just to go in between these two middle gears. Well, these four middle gears, I guess you can see. And I'm just going to screw those together. feel that they're a little bit out of balance but that really I don't think will really matter much that's, 
That one's got a little bit of wobble in it that I probably should correct. And I didn't get it out of there. That's fairly well right there. <clears throat> Over there, in line with it there. There's a little bit of wobble in there, but not much. Put the other set in there. A little bit in there, but not much. Now, let's do a little dry run assembly here. Put that black tape right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, 39, 40. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. And look at that, 48 to one. You guys will have to tell me if that went around one time. Now, I'll put you down here. Maybe you can see just how fast that runs when I just barely move this in down here. that runs pretty smooth make a lot of racket but it'll tighten up and I get some wax on it that's enough for today I think we've got a lot accomplished All I need to do now is figure out just exactly how I'm going to attach everything solid. I need to think about my crank, how that's going to attach to the shaft. How my gear is going to attach to the shaft for the crank. And actually the the one on the uh, the small gear that's going to be on the fan is not going to have a lot of torque on it. I'll figure something out. <laughs>